If you're like me and you're a big fan of Quizlet, then I think you're gonna find this video really useful. I'm gonna show you three ways of making flashcards really quickly, and I really mean quickly. Uh, you can make 20, 30 flashcards literally in just a few seconds. I'm also gonna include the AI technology. There is actually an AI technology inside the Quizlet, and that can also help you to make flashcards, and it's pretty useful. As always, I hope you like the video, and if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it, and of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Please help me to build up the numbers on YouTube and keep the uh, YouTube algorithm happy. Let's get started. The fastest way is to use ChatGPT. Look at this, all I did was ask ChatGPT to choose for me 15 words around the topic of football in English and to give me the definitions and to put it into a table of two, co two columns. Simple as that. And now what I can do is I can just copy all of these. And this is the amazing thing when you're working with um, Quizlets. I'm just gonna copy all those words I'm going to jump over now to Quizlet. I'm going to click on new study set and I'm going to create from scratch. We'll look also at the AI options in a minute, but this is also very fast. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to write the topic, which is going to be English words around football. Okay. And it was level B1. And then this is the magic button. I click here, import and I simply paste those words in. I click on import, and now it's generated the cards. Now just always check on the very first one, just click on it, the very first one, just make sure it's picked up the language, so I actually want this to be in English, and then that should be absolutely fine. Click on create. Now I'm gonna just show you a couple of really useful tips when you play these flashcards. So let's click on flashcards, for example. Okay, so I'm going to click on this button here. And just a couple Skillful of... Skillful ball control while moving. So that you heard that, and I just want to point out how I did that. If I click on options, what I did was I decided to choose the term as the answer. So I have to listen to the definition, decide what it is, and then try to guess it in English or whatever language I'm learning. And I turned on the audio. And the advantage of that, of course, is I get to listen and read at the same time. And of course, I can respond. So let me just quickly take you through that. Then if I start Still playing a game, control while moving. OK, that would be dribbling. And then I can click here and Dribble. check. OK, and I can move to the next word. The playing field where the game is held. OK, well, that would be like a football pitch. Pitch. OK, and then move on like that. A defensive move to take the ball from an opponent. Really, really makes a difference just to have the audio on. And also, you know, I like to read the definition and then think of the actual word. Of course, you could do it the other way around. But in this case, I think it works much better this way. So quickly going back to chat GPT, look what I did. I said, can you generate two columns in a table? In the first column, can you write 15 words related to football at level B1? And in column two, can you write the definitions in English? Now, of course, I could have chosen another language. I study Polish, so I often do this in Polish. But if I just use that, and I'm just going to copy that as a simple example, I'll do a new chat and I'll paste that in again, that exact, but let's change it to a different language. Let's say um, French. Okay, just to show you. So I'm going to put here in French just to make it absolutely clear that I want it in French this time. I click here and hopefully it's going to do exactly the same thing in French for me. Okay, and of course then I could just make copy those words and, and then play them in Quizlet. Now a little tip when you copy words, just a really fast one that's really useful. If you just mark underneath and start copying up, and then what you can do is just press on your arrow key and kind of move up bit by bit until you get to the top. Okay, because you don't need to obviously copy everything in the table. You don't need the, the, the little bit at the top. Then just right click and copy and now open up Quizlet and do as I showed you earlier. Now there is an, another amazing technique that you can use if you are a fan of Google Translate, which I'm a huge fan of Google Translate, and I don't understand why more people don't understand all of the things that Google Translate can do. And I'm just gonna show you now how you can use it again really quickly to make flashcards for Quizlet. Now I use this method all the time. I'm just gonna click here on my apps. I am logged in to my Gmail account. I'm gonna click on Google Translate. And I'll do a really simple example for you. So I'm going to, I normally study Polish, so I'm going to flick over here, 
can have the words in English and the words in Polish. And let's imagine that I've got some words that I want to learn. So I'm going to make the topic um, economics. So I'm going to write the word inflation. And it's in Polish, it's inflacja. And then I'm going to add that into my Basically, it saves all the words that I want to study. I'll just do a few more. I'm just going to show you this really quickly. And then I'm going to put the word um, crisis. Okay, economic crisis. And we get here, crisis. And I'm going to add that word. And then I'm going to put the words uh, unemployment, which actually is a word I don't know in Polish. So that would be good, good for me to learn anyway. So yeah, unemployment, okay, which is, okay, bez robocie, okay. I can always check the pronunciation anyway by just clicking here. Bezrobocie. Okay, and we'll add, add that, and we'll do, we'll add one more as well. So I'm just going to put one more in, and I'm going to put in um, salary increases. Okay, so all words kind of related to the topic of economics. Get, get the spelling right, and then we get again the word here, and I can click and listen to the pronunciation. Podwyżki wynagrodzeń. Now, let's just imagine that I only want those words for now, but of course there could be many more. This is just one of many ways of adding words. If I click on here. Now, let's imagine that I want to practice those words in Quizlet. All I need to do is click on this button here and it opens up the list of those words. Now, if I click on this button here, it gives me those four words. Okay, and of course I could have many more. And this is the important thing. I can click on this button here export to Google Sheets and I just click here and it will actually allow me to copy those words and then paste them straight into Quizlet. Now when you do this all you need to do is make sure that you open up the columns so that you've got the complete word nice and clearly and then just you only need to copy the two middle columns just copy those okay and of course I could have many more words I do this all the time copy right click and copy so i've copied these words both the english and the polish now i'm going to jump over to quizlet so in quizlet i'm going to click on this button here and then i'm going to click on study set and start from scratch and then in this here i'm going to again write the title so let's just put very quickly uh, new words and again, I click down on the import button. Remember, I copied those words, paste them in, and exactly the same will happen. If I click on import here, it will create the cards for me for those four words immediately, okay? Now, one thing, always click on the very first one and just make sure it picks the language up. So it's picked up English and Polish, then click on create and you're now ready to play your games. So that's the second way. Now there's also an AI technology and I'm just gonna quickly take you through that option as well. Just a super quick break from the video. If you do like what you see and you want more training, then please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads and loads of videos that you can access. You can even scroll down on the front page. Most of the most popular videos are kind of highlight on the front page. If you want to follow my work, the best thing to do is to sign up to the newsletter. That way you get updated with all the latest video posts and any um, webinars that I'm running or any courses. And if you want to go that extra mile, for example, if you wanted to learn more about Quizlet in detail, then join me on Patreon. On Patreon, I put up much more detailed videos. I do them on a weekly basis. You also get access to all the backdated content and on a monthly basis, we meet online for a webinar. So you might find that interesting too. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the video. Now, this third way of generating cards does depend on whether the AI is actually working on Quizlet. They're in, it's in development, so sometimes it's available. Other times, it doesn't seem to be available. I'm going to come over to here. I'm going to click on this time. I'm going to use magic notes. And what I'm going to do in magic notes is I'm going to grab some text. So I'm going to go over to my website, teachertrainingvideos.com and just grab that text. So copy that text, come back here. I'm going to paste that text in. And now what I'm going to do is using that text, I'm going to click here on start transforming and various things will be generated uh, from Quizlet all automatically. So you get an outline here of the um, basic video, or so in this case the basic text, so you get an outline of what that text was about. 
but then you get this thing called flashcards and I'm going to click here and show you what the flashcards do they basically take content from the text and turn it into kind of reminders so if we for example looked at this first one here and went teacher training videos and clicked it over it said a website founded in 2007 okay if we went to the next one technology uh, various tools and resources used to enhance teaching and learning now what I've noticed about the simple tech help for teachers the motto exactly okay so what I have noticed sometimes when working with these that it's worth doing a little bit of editing they're not always perfect it does depend sometimes I've produced really perfect cards straight off it depends a lot on the text that you paste in but if we click over here on um, if we just close that down a minute and just come back to the original in fact what we want to do in the flashcard sorry is to click here on the edit button is that we can come in and kind of edit any of the cards that we don't like so if we was to take for example that last one technology which is not particularly interesting I can click here and edit this and change it so it's a little bit more interesting but it's very much um, you know it's definitely worth looking into this option there are other options as well but today I wanted to concentrate on the flashcards and on the fact that this is the third way that you can actually generate flashcards very very quickly okay really hope you liked that video and if you did please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com loads more free videos if you scroll down on the front page you'll see lots of different content you've also got these sections here if you want to follow my work the best thing to do is to sign up to the newsletter we have about 11,000 subscribers and I'll keep you up to date with all the new videos any courses we're running and the webinars that we organize which are often free if you want to go that step further then join me on patreon for six dollars a month you get weekly training videos three every month plus you get the opportunity to meet online with me to discuss the training ask me any questions and make suggestions about perhaps new things that you'd like training on now the great thing about patreon is if you sign up you get access to all of the backdated videos so you, there's loads of content that's already up on patreon and you get access to everything that's on there right from the start of uh, when patreon started i'm going to leave a few more videos on the screen now that you might find interesting around other tools that are useful for language teachers